Hey guys, it's me, Art of Wonder, and today I have a tutorial for you. As you can see of the title above, I'm going to be doing a Cookie Monster tutorial. Um, and it's going to be made out of a recycled pin that I don't admire the design on it, so I thought I'd make my own. So basically, this is how my my um, Cookie Monster will end up looking, like, onto the pin, but instead this is on a bottle cap, or a can cap, or, I mean, you know, you understand on these caps and I have progressed so many of these like it's not even funny like I have a whole bunch so I'm going to be making a whole bunch of characters out of them so please do stay tuned on to a new charm update I will be uploading very shortly um but anyways um basically I did get a request on how to make a cookie monster charm but I thought I'd make a pin out of it since I really do want to decorate this pin so badly so I hope the person doesn't mind so yeah, let's get started. The materials you are going to be needing is some Palmer clay. The color is a blue, white, and black. Those are all three colors you are going to be needing. And you can use any brand such as um, Sculpey, Fimo, or Primo. And all are bakeable clays. So yeah, just have fun with it. So yeah, let's get started. And make sure you have a clean space and so you can work on so your clay doesn't get any dirty or any, any dirt on it or anything. So yeah. And make sure you wash your hands before you do start using clay. Let's First, start. what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab your blue clay. You're going to want to condition it as soft as you possibly could so it's easier to place it onto the pin. So that's what I'm doing. I am doing that. And by the way, guys, I do have I have contacts now. And let me tell you, it is not easy to put on. It was quite difficult when I went to the eye doctor when they showed me, but yeah, I do have contacts now and it's really exciting. But they aren't any like other color. They're this color of my eyes. They're regular contacts and yeah. And I could see much better and everything. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, some of you already know this. So yeah. Um, my Instagram will be down below if you were interested in following me and etc. and all my links. So yeah. So basically, after you're done conditioning, you are going to want to flatten out your clay onto the pin, like this, and you're just going to want to just flatten it all around. And just smooth it out and just repeat your step all around this pin so it covers any of the ink of the regular pin of itself. So. Yeah, we don't want to show the original pin. We want to make it our own. And I'm a f like I'm addicted to recycling everything, so yeah. If you guys didn't notice that on my Instagram, I do that. So yeah. Just continue to step and so smooth. Your pin out. should look like this after you did that step. And as you can see, um, all you have to do is put water to smooth out any fingerprints or anything like that. But of course we're going to ruin that because we're going to need a crafting blade or a crafting knife. Anything that you can use that has a sharp tool. You can even use a toothpick. And what we're going to do is we're going to create the Cookie Monster's fur, which is quite simple. Um, all you have to do is follow this step, um, repeat, and you'll have to do it all around. So you have to be gentle with it because you don't want to show the pin itself. So we're just being gentle and we're just going to keep doing this step everywhere. So, yeah. That's how it looks up close, and that's how yours sh should look after finishing this whole pin. So as you can see, I just finally finished um, texturing my little Cookie Monster's fur, and basically, um, I repeated the step repeatedly, and it came to this texturing. And as you can see, it's pretty different compared to Elmo's, which you just um, for Elmo you would do like one line, and you keep repeating one line. But in this, for Cookie Monster, you would have to make it a little more messier because he's Cookie Monster. And there's just a little more difference compared to the two, so yeah. I thought I would let you guys know that. So now we're going to work on his um, mouth, and all you're going to need is some black clay. And we're not going to need much, so just take a consistency of a little bit. And what we're going to do is condition the black clay and then 
roll it up into a circle. Reason being because we were going to uh, cut out the mouth and then we're going to flatten the black clay after we create the circle. So yeah. So as you can see I just flatten it. And by the way, guys, I am feeling much better compared to before how I was really sick. Thought I'll let you guys know that. I'm feeling super better. Like before, it was just ridiculous. I would just... Huh. I don't even want to go back to that. Anyways, um, basically we did his mouth, and now we're going to place his mouth right here. Give him a big grin. And we're just going to flatten it just so it can stay on place. Just like that, as you can see, his mouth is really big. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So now we're going to get to the next step, and we're going to create his eyes. And that's going to be quite simple, so make sure your hands are pretty clean from, from where I'm using the black. So yeah. After, um, uh, you're going to want to grab your white, and uh, you're going to want to condition that. And I already did most of the conditioning to the white, so it's usable. And now we are going to... Um, get a um, decent amount of white clay for his eyes. Now to do that we're just going to take this amount. We're not going to go crazy with it because his eyes are fine. So I'm going to say this amount is pretty good. As you can tell. So now we're going to get to putting on his eyes which is quite simple. So basically we are going to roll up the white piece of clay and we are going to create a circle with it and flatten it like that and it might be a little thick so we're just going to flatten it a little more put his eyes down and as you can see it's a little too big so we're just going to have to grab a different piece of white because that's dirty so, alright, so we're going to do this again, perfect, just going to place his eye right, oh, right there, I'm going to flatten it, like that, and now we're going to place his other eye, Not gonna get crazy with that. And by the way, guys, please do comment down below how's your school, um, how are you doing in school and things like that. If you started early, I would like to know how is it. If you haven't started, then tell me how um you think it will be, and you know, just comment something about your school. You don't have to tell me what school you go to. It's not crazy just um tell me like basic stuff like um what do you plan to learn in school or like what classes your is your favorite things like that you know i'm really interested to see your guys opinions and stuff i really enjoy my art class guys i think it's really fun I do have art class, but that's weird. I don't know how you guys work with it. And I don't wear uniforms or anything. I used to in my old school, but you know how it is. You know how it be when you move. Okay, my eye is just not working well. I'm having eye malfunctions. Okay. Is that good there? Yes. Alright, I finally put his eye down. Thank God, I was stressing over here. Alright, next we're going to do his little pupils, which is quite simple. It's the easiest part. Um, we're just going to take a little bit of some black clay. We're not going to get crazy with it. Just move that out, out the way. It's getting dark outside. Ah. Anyways, um, we're not going to get crazy with it. So, as you can see, his eyes are crazy most of the time. So, that's what we're going to do with this his eyes make him a little crazy uh, okay 
try this out. Don't mind me, guys. It's just my hands are just not. Ugh. Not cool, man. Okay, we got one eye down. Now we're going to get to the next one. Which is going to be hopefully easy. Put his eye right there. Go. His eye just discombobulated. That shall work. So there, I finally finished the pin. Yay! So yeah, this is how it should look like. I really hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. I hope it was really helpful. And I hope you have fun recycling all your pins that you don't enjoy the design of. And make your own little cute little characters. Like um, Elmo and Cookie Monster. I think they're super awesome. As well as um, a Despicable Me one would be cool too. Like, I really enjoyed Despicable I really enjoyed making this Despicable Me one, and I do have a tutorial, so please do check that out and press the like button for this tutorial and that one. That would be so much. So I hope you are you enjoyed this tutorial. Please do comment down below how your school year is doing and things like that, and comment down below any requests on any charms you would like to see, and please do check out the links down below. Follow me on Instagram, like my page on Facebook, and things like that, and do enter my giveaway because it would mean a lot if you did. And yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Please do rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. I hope you enjoyed.